Hello, welcome back to another work visual tutorial video. In this video, we will show how to handle KUKA option packages in work visual. This includes installation and management of packages and profiles. A KUKA option package is an add-on that provides additional functionality to the system to simplify integration. A couple of examples are GripperTech, which provides simple configuration of gripper tooling, and ArcTech Basic, that simplifies communication with arc welding equipment and makes it easier to program. KUKA option packages KOPs add functionality to WorkVisual. If your computer has any of these options, they must be installed in WorkVisual before you are able to deploy the project. WorkVisual will give you an error in the message window if this is the case. Some option packages have dependencies. For example, force torque control is dependent on robot sensor interface RSI and must be installed in conjunction. We'll discuss the prerequisites further in depth later in the video. Option profiles can be used as containers for different versions of packages in WorkVisual and to manage them in a structured manner. The default option profile is available as standard and it cannot be renamed or deleted. Note that option packages can only be installed in the active option profile and the active option profile cannot be renamed or deleted. To create an option profile, select the Extras tab, then Option Package Management. The Option Package Management window opens. Click the Add button above the Option Profiles. Enter a name and confirm it with the Enter key. Option packages contained in the active project on the robot controller can be loaded from the robot controller and installed in WorkVisual. If the controller isn't automatically listed, search for available controllers using the magnifying glass option to specify the controller IP address. In the available cells, select the active project and click the download necessary options box. Click open. A request for confirmation is displayed asking whether the dynamic option profile is to be overwritten. Answer the query with yes. The option profiles are downloaded and installed in the dynamic option profile. The option profile will be created if one does not yet exist. Once the option profile has been successfully installed, click Restart. This method works nicely with KRC5, but can be problematic with KRC4 robot controllers. My favorite method to get KOPs from a KRC4 is by manually copying them to a USB stick. Log in as an expert on the SmartPad. Open the D drive. Open the KUKA OPT folder. Then copy the files and paste them in a folder on your USB stick. If the robot controller has KOPs installed, you can browse for the project and save option packages to your computer. Enter the programming and diagnostic workspace, select the online system informations button from the toolbar, and click the robot controller in the tree structure window. Choose the desired option packages and click download selected options. Browse for a folder to save the files and click OK to start the download. With either of the last two methods to get KOPs, after we copy them, we can install them in an option profile. Select the Extras tab, then Option Package Management. The Option Package Management window opens. Select the option profile and click on the activation button. Confirm the prompt with yes. Click on the add button above the option packages, then the select packages to be installed window opens. Select the desired option packages and click open. The installing option packages window is open and the packages are installed. Once the operation has been completed, the packages are displayed in the option package management window. Only if the message the application needs to be restarted in order to complete the installation is displayed, click the restart button and work visual restarts. Select the option profile and click on the activation button. Confirm the prompts to reboot work visual with yes. Work visual is restarted and the option profile is activated. Option packages cannot be installed in this option profile. To insert option packages into the WorkVisual project, 
In the project structure window, expand the controller and make sure the option node is visible. In the catalogs window, you can see the available option packages on the activated option profile. Select the option package and drag it into the option node. Dependent option packages will be automatically installed if they are present in the option profile. Click OK to confirm the installation. The option packages are now displayed in the option node. Before an option package is removed, a check is carried out to see if there are any dependencies on the other option packages. Dependent option packages will be removed automatically. If the active profile doesn't match the options in the project structure, you will not be able to deploy. This includes the option and its specific version. For this example, our active profile has KSS Settings API, and the project has ArcTech Basic, ArcTech Advanced, Ethernet KRL, and Ethernet IP. If we change the active profile to match, we can then deploy the project. If you try removing a dependency, a dependent KOP will be removed as well. Additionally, if you try to add a KOP and it requires a dependency, the KOP won't install until the dependency is installed. For example, if you want to install ArcTech Advanced, you need to first install ArcTech Basic. My preferred method to install KOPs in TwoWork Visual is to drag them from the Catalogs window to the Options node in the project structure. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.